Welcome to Awakening You channel. We hope you found something here that sparked your interest and assists you in your awakening journey. If you appreciate what we do, please support us. Thank you. Sooner or later everyone wakes up to the fact that they are divine beings. Despite the appearance that we are physical in nature and that reality is filtered through the perceptions of our physical brains, there is much more to each human being than their physical aspect. Separate from your physical brain is your mind, which is a field of consciousness. Within that field of consciousness, you exist as an aspect of the divine source from which you came. Long ago, you inserted yourself into the human experience. In those days, nothing was yet physical and being human meant being a specialized personality with the free will to explore consciousness in greater detail than previously. Later, physical experience was sought as it made the experience of being a rational, free will driven, unique personality all the more interesting. At that point, being physical meant living in a lighter density than today's version of physical existence. The experience of being physical was so fascinating that, like youngsters excited about a new thrill ride at a funfair, we said, how about if we try it with the lights out? And, so, the lights went out. Today, we are immersed deeper than ever in the human experience of being physical. This includes being apparently cut off from the normal information flow that comes with higher consciousness and we're here to find the answer that lies somewhere out there in the gloom. Or, we might well ask, is it somewhere inside instead of somewhere out there? Being mostly disconnected from the inner light means that we don't have an inbuilt awareness of our oneness with the universe. We have to earn that realization through deliberate attunement. We don't have always on telepathic ability to exchange thoughts and feelings with other people. Conscious telepathy takes patience and practice. We aren't attuned with conditions in nature like animals are. When an earthquake jolt is imminent or a tsunami is headed our way, wild animals suddenly head for the hills and we're left wondering why our homebound pets are getting agitated. As humans today, what we have is self-awareness, intellect, and freedom of choice. Within this mysterious maze of the thrill ride of being human with the inner lights turned off, there is a treasure to be found. That treasure is the realization that the light was there all the time, yet hidden from sight. When you first find the spiritual light within, it begins to beckon you forward into the realms of more light. Then, you are firmly on the path of spiritual discovery. You are heading back along the pathway to the level of consciousness from which you came before the thrill ride began. Remember, your brain is not your mind and your mind is not your real personality. Your immortal soul is your real personality and it is functioning through the filter of who you became in this particular lifetime. Attune yourself with your soul consciousness every day and you will always be able to make the right choices in life. When you sense the essence of your true personality, you will also sense which of the options that lie before you resonate best with your inner guidance. This attunement with the right options and their real potential is the secret to gaining the most from your experience of life as a human being. The big question is, of all the techniques of spiritual awakening that could make such progress possible, which are the ones that are most effective and easiest to perform? And, how can they be combined for best effect when meeting daily challenges?